Hey everybody, I'm continuing to watch the second episode of season one of The Expanse. Well, the Canterbury got blown up from a bogus SOS, apparently, or something. I don't know. And I, everyone's going to lose their, their ice or their water, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. I want to see how the crew kind of puts that together. Well, let's find out how this goes. It's an acquired taste. Just wait and see. Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Ade. I'm the new navigator. Jim, there's something you should know. Haas. Haas! Debris field! Buckle up! It's possible to fall. I'll try to drive us out of it. How bad are we gonna catch it? Pretty bad. All right, sweetheart. You know how much I love you. Jesus, you're not We're trying. going after them. Buddy, I don't think We're that's... losing them! Don't do it, Alex. They just dusted 50 of our friends. Well, let's not make it 55. Alex, I am telling you to go after that ship. What if they don't like being followed? They slip off that screen, they're gone forever. They'll get away with this. What is wrong with you? I gave an order! You think rank matters now? Get up. I'll do it myself. Get up! We're not going anywhere. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa. Let's, Let's just, just take, take a deep breath here, people. All of you. The Secretary General has publicly disavowed gravity torture. If you want to talk to that belter, you put him in the tank. You know who I am? I've heard of you, yes. Many interesting tales. You're well spoken for an OPA soldier. Because I'm a belter, I'm actually OPA. I'm just a citizen of the belt. I hope for the future of my people as you do for yours. Then for the future of both our people, I need to know how you got your hands on restricted stealth technology that could destroy the balance in the system. You mean the balance between Earth and Mars? 
in a way, so now it's a deal for Bell to, you talk to me through a piece of glass, you see my body, which can no longer survive on the very planet that bore my great grandmother. Earth has created a race of exiles out in a space who have no homes to return to. So all these go unanswered. Why waste your time on a meaningless courier like myself? You too modest, child. Someone entrusted you to transport pieces of the Holy Grail. The question is, who? Let's just, let's just hold on for one second. We, we don't have to go outside. We're, 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 we're safe right now. We open those doors, we're done. We're, the, the ship could crack apart. I'm telling you. We can't just, I'm just, if we open those doors, please li just listen to me. Listen to me. If we go out there, you can, you, we're going to die. Hey, 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 You're in shock. You're in shock. You know the symptoms. You know the symptoms. Just breathe. Breathe. Deep. Breathe. 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 dead patches started appearing. My guess is the Grigis are stealing water again. Some belters clearly don't respect the green space's role in recycling the air and the water. You seem sure it was belters. The criminals here tend to be. You're new here, aren't you? We'll get right on that, sir. Maybe if everyone in Ceres had his view, they'd respect it more. There. Now you can make your own view. Oh shit! Wait, how did you drop that? It's space. How did you drop that? You're an Earther. I don't know where you're from. We're going to be space trash in a few hours. And you want to start a friendship? You don't think we're going to make it what you do up here. Naomi told me to. So I am. Alex, send me some juice to E12. Oh, I missed her. Alex. Alex. Oh, E12. There you go, sugar. You doing a cat then? I'm doing as good as do on a... Morning, full of sunshine. I can take a core part and put it back together with my eyes closed. But ask me whether or not I should rip your helmet off and kick you off this bucket. And I can't give you a reason why I should. Or shouldn't. Except Naomi wouldn't like it. So he's a sociopath. Could you pass me the drill? Alex. He said what's wrong with him? He's, he's hypoxic. And, oh, shit. His breather's crapping out. Damn it. How long can he hold on? So we can share air. So you can breathe off mine, okay? Chad, what's happening? Okay. Hold on, buddy. Let's, come on. Hold on, Alex. Come on. There it is. Oh, 
Oh, a technique. Skinny. We have connection. Get back in here now. So he's dead? The antenna's working, but our signal's still too weak. The transmitter was severed from the power grid. It's done. Can't wait. We are ourselves an amplifier. We're gonna need a shitload of power. Take everything apart. Be fast and be careful. We're inside a balloon with a pin here. If it has a battery, a power pack, any charge capability, it goes into a path. I'm sorry, does anyone need a back rub first? <laughs> Sensor box should be to you, right? Hey, what is that? <laughs> Amateurs. You gotta admire the storm tree in the park. Sorry, Helix, don't move! Wasted all that water. Wasted all that water. Listen, you can pick all the pockets you want. We're all drunks. But when you mess with the water, that's when you're going down. Maybe a couple years on a prison barge and set up straight. Huh? You like that? Let's do what you gotta do. Hey, hey. Stay away from the aqua. Tell all your friends. I did not see that coming. The prisoner, Haki Sabon, took his own life by avoiding the high gravity injections from his crash couch. I think Madam is making a statement. Speak frankly, please. Earth's gravity. We used it to hurt him. He threw it back in our face. Who, Whose beacon we answered isn't pirate tech. It's top grade military stuff. Serial stamp on the main board. Martian Congressional Navy. That makes no kind of sense. It makes all kind of sense. That ship that attacked the camp wasn't tucked behind an asteroid. It was hiding in plain sight. A stealth ship. Why would they nuke a civilian ship without warning? Because they can. What the hell are we tangled up in here? Who gives a shit? Let's focus on staying alive. We'll worry about Mars later. No. Got no record of a Razorback on these docks. The, um, special hangar where rich people keep their pleasure craft? A series. Oh, last I heard. Alex? Someone hurt us. Someone hurt us? Mars. The Dodger. Flagship of the Martian Navy. Coming to finish the job. And we just told him where we were. And your last air one soon? Not on series. Shipped out on the scapula. It's went dark right after take off. Vanished. The week for vanishing ships. Listen, we're the only ones who know what happened to the camp. We get on that ship and chances are we're never coming out. Unless. What are you doing? Buying us insurance. My name is James Holden, speaking for the five survivors of the Canterbury. Our ship was destroyed answering a bogus SOS from a ship called the Scapuli. We recovered a false beacon and identified it as Martian naval technology. It was a trap. Are you insane? We're about to be taken aboard the MCR and done. Alex, shut him down. Slow us out. Lock us out. Shit. Who are we? Speak for us. We intend to cooperate. Hopes this means we won't be harmed. Should I smoke him? Say the word. 
Yeah, he's definitely a sociopath. You're dead anyway. Any such action would only confirm that the Canterbury was destroyed by Mars. It just needs to reach one ship, one station, then it'll spread. Don't count on it. The jammers were in range. You are prisoners of the Mars Congressional Republic. Move and you die. Damn. Well, that was, you know, episode two of The Expanse. It's really interesting because... The Donager apparently showed up to pick up the the last survivors of the Canterbury. We find out what happened when, you know, the Canterbury blew up and all that ice is gone. So all everyone on Sirius Station, they're all freaking out because, you know, they have no water. Or their water is getting, like, rationed down even more than usual. So, you know, they're doing what they think they need to do. And a lot of people are trying to find out what's going on. And, and you know, everyone has their own ideas. James Holden, the, I guess he's one of the, the main leads. He decided to make a, an insurance policy by, you know, stating that the Mars blew up the Canterbury. And Naomi Nagata, she's kind of taking charge. I think Amos is his name. Amos is pretty much a sociopath. I can almost guarantee he's a sociopath. Or he's just a really good soldier. I'm not really sure. It can be one or the other or both, but whatever. And it's, it's really interesting. So we'll see what comes out of, out of all this. As always, on the Marvel effects, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff down below. And have a good one.